This is a translation of my German video about ITC. If you haven't noticed by my cute accent, English is not my first language. Wenn ihr das Video auf Deutsch sehen wollt, klickt auf die Infokarte oben, schaut in die Beschreibung oder in der Endcard am Ende des Videos. The other day my buddy asked, Yo Florian, how do I install ITC with S2 cells? And I replied, Simple thing, do this, do that, job done. But my buddy, wow, that's really complicated. I replied, ah, rather not. Maybe I've explained it wrong. Then I looked on YouTube for a tutorial and they are all scrap. And there we are today. How do I install IATC on my PC and what are S2 cells? Off we go. Step 1. You need a computer. You want IATC on your phone? Look in your App Store or Play Store or Corner Store for IATC and job done. If you want S2 cells, I recommend you use the plugin on your PC because it's easier. And you want it easy, otherwise you wouldn't be here. Can somebody start some royalty-free music in order to motivate people with poor concentration? Thanks. Again briefly, what do you need IATC for? IATC stands for Ingress Intel Total Conversion. For those who opted out of English class in kindergarten to focus on science and eventually make blue crystals in a caravan in the desert, in plain words it means sick game, its map, awesomely rebuilt. You need it for playing Ingress Prime or Pokemon Go or the sick Harry Potter Wizards Unite thing. When you're logged in with your Ingress account, you can see a map showing all the portals in your area or even the whole world. Ingress is made by Niantic and Niantic uses these portals as points of interest for their other games. Ingress portals become Pokestops, arenas or inns for Harry Potter. Warning! IATC uses all data displayed on the normal Ingress Intel map and presents it in a slightly different way. Technically, it violates the Terms of Services, which prohibits processing or storing data from the server. Using IATC could lead to a ban. Using external IATC plugins should be done with caution. Okay, back to the point. Install IATC on the PC. Actually, I wanted to explain the original IATC. You'll find it on IATC.me. Until I noticed in retrospect that Firefox is a douche and installing it there is not easy. So we take IATC CE, the Community Edition. This is a modification of IATC which is developed in parallel to the original. Step 1. You need a browser, either Firefox or Chrome. Then you search for IATC CE and come to the website iatc.modus189.ru. Oh fine, Russians are meddling with our browser. Go to Downloads, Desktop and find the add-on for Firefox or Chrome. Installing is super easy and quite similar in both browsers. Check this out. If you now go to ingress.com slash intel, the map looks awesome. If it doesn't work, add a question mark to the URL and load again. There are lots of additional plugins that you can enable in ITC. Pre-installed plugins are tested. They probably will not harm you. Discussing all plugins in detail would lead too far for now. Okay, let's talk about S2 cells. God, that's going to be tough. Start some music again, dude. Right. Just very briefly. To represent a flat map of the Earth is difficult. You can see that when you wrap a melon in newspaper. You'll have wrinkles and you cannot cover the round surface with a flat newspaper without wrinkles. On the map, these wrinkles are display flaws. Take the normal world map. The further you go to the poles in the north and south, the more distorted the map is. Greenland is in fact not that wide. And what about S2 cells now? Google has developed a model of the round earth that is based on projecting the sphere onto the faces of a cube. The cube has six faces. Each face can be divided into four quadrants. Divide it again and again and again and the more often you divide the face, the smaller the area on the sphere and the higher the level of the S2 cell. I think that's enough for basic understanding. You only have one Pokestop per level 17 cell, even if Ingress has more portals in this area. 
one Pokemon Arena per level 14 cell and only one Ingress Portal per level 20 cell. Rating cells in Ingress are level 6. So that's why it's important to know the S2 cell for all the Pogo players who rush to Ingress to build new Pokestops because Ingress players have been able to submit portals for 80 years. Because you want a Pokestop and not a useless Ingress portal that you cannot use in Pogo because it's too close to the next Pokestop. Talking about S2 plugin. There are many. I recommend one from Nicola Wannabe on GitHub because you can show two different levels at the same time. For example, level 14 for arenas and level 17 for Pokestops. Go to GitHub, read the instructions and click on install at the bottom. Boom. Reload the Intel map, job done. Get a coffee. If you really want to shoot yourself in the foot, you'll zoom out of the map and display level 20 zones. Your computer is then busy painting the screen and if you're lucky, your browser dies. When there are enough comments forcing me, I'll go into detail with all the other ITC plugins. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you like Pokemon, damn it, play Ingress. That's much better. And if you suck, there are tutorials everywhere. Play more Ingress. All links in the video description and in the pinned comment below. For today it's enough for me, thanks for watching and go out and be awesome. Ciao!